Hello there, Erner here, and today we, we are going to have a battle between Trace and Pelasset. On the Trace we got a lot of javelins and chargers, and on the Pelasset we got a lot of shielded militia, some riders, slingers, and very special cavalry. Let's see the, the both armies on the battlefield, on this forest. The forest skirmishers huh, are appearing as the first. Behind them are the two handed chargers, which are called the workshippers of Zalmoxis. On the far side, we got the flanking force consisting of, of chargers, javelins, and one special chariot. Yeah. Let's have a look on the Pelissed army, starting with some riders. On. We got some slings behind, palace slingers and militia. Quite a lot of units here. The valve set is having the club and shield. And the rest of the army continues. The opponent is bringing quite a number of units. And here we can see brand new cavalry unit, Cimmerian Elite. These elites will be shown in battle and very very far away is hiding here in the forest another cavalry unit which will be flanking quite nicely. Uh, from, Bir from Bird's point of view the palace is having high ground, well protected, it's well protected by the cliff so the only entrance is from here and from the mud, so this is a very safe position. And as you can see, the trace is already taking advantage, going to the forest, and maybe it will be able to go and flank from behind, unless these riders and other guys will be holding them off. So let's see how this will evolve during the battle. We have the very first and brave unit forest skirmishers are here and as you can see under the number of units these, sling these javelins are hidden in the tall grass. So that's why they are not taking any f damage, any fire from the palacet. So camping the hill is boring, that's why Palacet is moving to forward. Maybe they will make some lines. And I told you that these javelins are hidden. And they were able to throw and deal some damage. Already two models are dead. Stingers are... Oh, they took some heavy casualties already. Just from this hidden javelin. Which is no longer hidden. And... They are... The javelin will get direct by this very nice charge. Will they make it? Almost there? Nope. They are going to back. And that's un unfortunate because you should not show your backs to javelins. So I bet that this javelin unit will have quite a number of kills. Let's pause for a moment and see. 37 kills already. So that's very nice for this javelin. And very good skirmishing. Because as a javelin you call forward, you hide in the grass, an opponent comes here, you are shooting and going back. Will this another javelin be successful? Oh, who they are ch shooting at? Hmm, 60 Pelasset Stingers versus, versus 86 Skirmishers. How are our Stingers doing? 41, hmm. Yeah, obviously you should not use Slingers so close. They are already routing. Meanwhile, Pelasset is making quite a nice line 
I'm bringing more units to be on this side. Oh, we got some nice cavalry charge. Oh, yes. Javelin's taking heavy casualties. Clubmen are bring, coming back to help them. And very nicely pulling ca cavalry away. They have lost just one model from this charge. Very good performance. Let's see how many kills they have managed to do. They have 58 kills already. Mm. That's. I don't wonder now that people really like cavalry. Okay. We almost forgot that we got some flankers on this edge of the map, which is still moving forward. And now they are moving. This direction is quite nicely behind, yeah. But the Pelased is trying to make a line, yes. Bringing more reserves to the fight. And where is Trace? Finally Trace is coming. Is it though? We can have a look on these workshippers of Salmoxes, yeah. And some mountaineers. These guys are very cheap, very terrible. And these worshippers are more fancy guys. They are the same, but better. Whoa. On the other side we got some routing unit. What is happening there? Oh, it was just running out after, after routing. Oh. Just, just to make this very visible to you. Oh, maybe not, no need. As you can see, here is a very nice line of infantry with some reserves. Here we have two remaining slingers, which is very nice battle line. I really like this tactic. And here we are going to have some fight on the flank. Did you saw this cavalry going in, pulling back and bringing the riders to charge instead of uh, cavalry charge. So the cavalry very nicely is going to charge his javelins. Chariots are going to help as well. So we have a big, big fight in the mud. And yes, right now the battle lines are flashing. You cannot see a thing in this big tall grass, but I can assure you, uh, more chargers are coming in, more battles, and out of nowhere, the Cimmerian elite unit, this very nice cavalry, is just standing here, taking a lot of casualties from the Javanese. Oh boy. And finally we got the remaining skirmisher entering the fight shooting who are they shooting oh they are shooting the cavalry oh very big waste of money on this side oh you need to take care of your, your cavalry because oh another guy is routing here but militia did cannot last long but having two cavalry versus one chariot can be decisive and yeah, you can see the chariot in the mud is not able to tank them and the cavalry is winning here. One victory for the Pelased on the right side. In the middle it's still slightly losing for Pelased. And on this left side, oh, chariots are... Hey, did I tell you that this chariot are... Let me show you... Yeah. Yes, they have... Oh, come on. I hate this. Yeah, these chariots have strider and they are in the tall grass. Guess what? 
they are not taking any penalties so they are able to get gather a lot of kills and ignore the terrain that's why you should play trace as well okay can the cavalry save the day on the other side of the map it seems that uh, trace javelins are routing Worshippers are going to route soon, maybe. Slink Fire is finally supporting the uh, the Palisade, so maybe they are, if they will be able to win and come to help the front line. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Our Slingers are getting wrecked by Chariot, or just standing here and hit hitting each other, mm, nice oh yeah the battlefield is more more with filled more blue banners instead of green ones and obviously the battle is ending soon it was quite nice showing off of battle, uh, battle lines and Let's see how the units did in the after after match. Let's start with javelins. These are quite cheap and they are getting a lot of value. 700, 800 as well. This one did less. 800. Hmm. You will want to play with missiles because they are getting value. On the other side, just three slings. They are quite cheap and they almost paid for themselves for the front line uh, trace is not having front line they have charge line for your chargers yeah they are not getting that much value uh, let's see the palace riders the very cheap militia that, that this one was doing well others so, so, the Palisade Riders, 300, 400, not enough, not enough kills. The Urartu Tribesmen, quite good, very good. And let's, we, you can see the Chariot and Cavalry. Guess which of these two is better. This one is having... Uh, 212 kills and 783 value and this cavalry is having even more kills and 900 value so this cavalry did much better than the best chariot and uh, it remaining two chariots did almost 1000 and the remaining cavalry oh poor cavalry this one did absolutely nothing they were just shot and the other one was doing something all right that is all for now see you later